Our lives are driven by internet today and our privacy is taken a back seat because every time we visit a website, the ads of that website come on our Google page. And to get rid of this, a lot of people use VPN, which is virtual private network. What is VPN? Let's say you have a car and it has a number plate and you decide to go to Nandi Hills in Bengaluru. And when you take a normal route to Nandi Hills, your number plate is visible to everyone, whether it is traffic cops or even cameras located on the road. And the officials get to know where you have started and where you are going to end. This is similar to using the internet without VPN. Now, let's say you take your car, you take another route, which is a hidden road, and your number plate is also hidden. And finally, you do reach your destination, but nobody knows your car number, neither do the officials know where did you start and where did you end. Virtual private network hides your identity from officials, from the government, from also the online fraudsters who are constantly looking for theft. But these VPN providers are a little disappointed in India. They want to leave India, close their operations and get out of it. All this is because the government of India has asked these VPN providers to store data at least for five years. But VPN providers feel that this will be a little expensive for them to store the data and then hand it over to the government whenever they ask for it. But the government of India has told that like, wait, we are giving you three more months of time. Take these three months of time and figure out a way to store all the data and follow the rule, which is the Information Technology Act of 2000. VPN providers might play around with the government, but at the end of the day, they need money. What better way to make money in a country as big as 130 crore people?